Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can transform your data. Let's say this is the base table which you are having where you have the IT and sales as two headers in which you know you have the budget or the planned cost and the planned sales right uh, and the actual sales. So you want to find a variance between the actual and budget based on the cost one cost two and sales one and sales two. So this is the table which is usually we got and with the help of the DAX what we can do is we can create a good looking summarized table like this where we can find out okay what is our total actual sales, total budgeted sales, total actual cost, budgeted, budgeted cost and then we can find the sales variance that means planned sales which is a business budget sales and the actual sales. Uh, so over here the variance is minus but minus is good because what you planned is the sales of 3500 actually what you did is 4500 that means you did more than this so this is a good factor whereas in this case you did the less sales right so this is a dummy scenario as you can see and uh, we want to create this table so if this is something what you are looking at to create a variance table based on these different measures then you can we'll we'll see it how you can do it as you can see multiple with the help of the multiple measures okay before that a quick information that all of my um, scenarios uh, that i am having is present in this easy to find worksheet um, which is this right so like over here someone is accessing this stuff uh, this sheet so over here you this uh, this particular link is present in the description you can go ahead and uh, start uh, accessing it it has 300 plus videos so the title is present in the column a link is present in column b search for title look for the title which were which you need and uh, jump on to that video using the link that is present okay so that way you can bookmark and easily search any of the topic that i have explained previously next is the um, data set so right now the data set i'm currently using is something uh, dummy one which you can simply create you know by entering the data looking at the screen however there are other data sets which has thousands rows or like um, you know a couple of hundred thousand rows and that is present over here right so you can come on to my data set uh, folder and look for multiple uh, files that I have used for ClickSense, ClickView, Power BI, Jupyter, Tableau, so on and so forth. Yeah, if you want to explore that. So link is present in the description for that as well. Okay, with that, let me come back over here. And uh, what do we need to do is I will basically show you how you can do that. So first thing first is create this table. Just pause the video and simply, you know, take this, take this data and uh, and what we need to do is we need to create a couple of formulas for total actual sales so what do we have is so it and sale is a parameter that we can you know use it or a dimension that we can use it in the front end but with the help of uh, actual sales so actual sales is present over here actual sales one actual sales two so we are saying what is our total actual sales right so we are saying uh, we are creating the formula for total actual sales and I'll click on the new formula or the new measure and I will say total actual sales one in this case because now I'm, I have to create a new one so I'm using the calculate function calculate uh, sum of value because value is what we have as a value over here and then we need to uh, basically give the type is equals to what actual right and uh, we have the attribute which is the uh, in this case sales right so we are saying sales one and now we will use the or condition using two pipe sign and we will say attribute is equals to sales two so that way what we are saying is this is an end condition that scenario should be actual and attribute should be sales one or sales two so that's how we are sort of making it a little bit complex and i hit the enter button and uh, what i can do is i can simply create this table right what do i have is the name id and sales right and then what I can do is I can bring this new measure which is 1 so 4500 2300 same way I will simply copy this 
I have the actual sales, I can basically get the planned sales or the budgeted sales. Total budget sales and in here rather than saying actual, what we can say budget, right? And we have the budget sales. Now for you, the exercises, I have created it for sales. You will create it for cost, total actual cost total budgeted cost right and bring it over here like I have brought it now I will simply show you the variance so for this new so sales variance 1 is equals to budgeted sales always budgeted sales uh, sorry not this one but the one and the actual sales okay if I hit enter I get this and what I get is my variance which you can see present over here. So the same way you have to do it for cost. You have to bring in the actual cost and budgeted cost as an exercise and then create the variance from this table. That way you will be able to grasp this concept and then utilize it whenever you need it. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll now meet you in the new video with a new topic.